Steve in Alexandria, Virginia writes to me, Hey Paul, all other factors being equal, can you give your opinion on which of the two formats are better? A half track tape at seven and a half ips, ips is inches per second, or quarter track tape at 15 ips. It seems like the trade-off for twice the space at half the speed might be the same. No, it's not. In my opinion, we'll take, take this, this lovely Studer. This Studer is, let's see, it's a quarter track machine. And Gus, our, our mastering engineer, has, God, he's got tons of machines running around from half track to quarter track to full track. And the difference between half track and quarter track has more to do with dynamic range ability than it does with frequency response. So depending on what it is you're trying to record would be where I would make my recommendation. So 15 ips, in my experience, always sounds better or 30 ips because you're getting a much greater frequency range. You don't have as much phase shift, you don't have as much of the top end being rolled off, and that to my ear sounds so much better than the slight increase in dynamic range. But again, if you were recording, you know, well, if this was years ago, Buddy Rich or somebody on the drums, you might be better off at seven and a half and half inch tape, or, you know, half track, because the dynamic range requirements for that were much more important than, say, the frequency response. So that's my best advice on that. And of course, if we could have it all, then half track tape running at 15 or 30 yips, sweetness. Uh, but DSD is better. I know, we'll get into that later. All right, <laughs> take it easy, <laughs> bye.